five, four, three, two. We have ignition of the RD-180 main engine. One, liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The Atlas V RD-180 main engine ignites and generates more than 860,000 pounds of thrust to lift the rocket away from the pad. Shortly after liftoff, Atlas begins a pitch over to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Atlas V reaches Mach 1 at the speed of sound at 1 minute 17 seconds. At 4 minutes 4 seconds, propellant levels deplete and the main engine shuts down. Six seconds later, the Atlas Centaur separation system activates to release the booster stage. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 7% of what it did at liftoff. At 4 minutes 20 seconds, the first Centaur main engine burn begins, sending the Centaur into a circular orbit. Approaching payload fairing jettison, the Centaur is burning propellant at a rate of 51 pounds per second, traveling at more than 10,000 miles per hour, and located 79 miles in altitude and 252 miles downrange. During ascent, InSight is protected inside a 4-meter diameter payload fairing. At approximately 4 minutes 28 seconds, the payload fairing is jettisoned. At 13 minutes 16 seconds, cutoff of the Centaur main engine, or MECO-1, occurs. The mission now enters an hour-long coast phase. At nearly one hour and 15 minutes, the Centaur main engine is restarted for the second and final burn, placing Centaur on its path to spacecraft separation. Approximately four minutes and 49 seconds later, the final cutoff of the Centaur main engine occurs. At one hour, 28 minutes, and 40 seconds, Centaur releases NASA's InSight spacecraft on its journey to Mars. Deploying from dispensers mounted on the aft bulkhead carrier on Centaur, the Mars Cube 1, or MARCO CubeSats, will provide real-time communication relay covering the entry, descent, and landing of InSight on Mars. MARCO A separates one hour, 29 minutes into flight, followed 48 seconds later, by the separation of Marco B.